800 student athletes. 29 teams wearing the blue and white, all for the glory of Old State. This is your weekly roar on GoPSUSports.com. Out of the Big Ten, the Nittany Lions of Penn State University. Yeah! Welcome everyone to this week's edition of For the Glory. I'm Gia Motel. For the first time since 2001, the Penn State Nittany Lion basketball team is going dancing. Penn State, a number 10 seed in the NCAA tournament, will take on a familiar foe, 7 seed Temple, in Tucson on Thursday at 2:10 on TNT. Penn State battled their way into March Madness through an impressive Big Ten tournament run with three wins leading up to a chance for the tournament crown against Ohio State. Penn State defeated Indiana in the first round with senior Jeff Brooks scoring 15 along with seven boards. The Nittany Lions took on Wisconsin in a grind-out defensive battle against the Badgers, coming out on top 36-33. to Taylor Battle led with nine points on the night, none bigger than his fadeaway three with about two and a half minutes to play, giving the Lions a 35-30 to lead. On Saturday against Michigan State, Battle and Tim Frazier were too much for the Spartans as Battle ran off with 25 points, seven rebounds, and three assists. Battle hit six of 11 from three, moving him into a tie for second all-time in three-pointers with Joe Crispin. Frazier scored career-high 22 points, shooting 9 of 13 from the floor and forcing 5 turnovers. Penn State fell to the Buckeyes in their first Big Ten Championship game appearance, 71-60. to Taylor Battle, who earned an all-tournament selection, dropped a game-high 24 points with Brooks adding 19 points and 6 boards. Nittany Lion tickets for the tournament are available on Ticketmaster. Bookmark the All Sports blog now on GoPSUSports.com to follow Penn State's trip to Tucson with blog updates and exclusive Nittany Lion videos. Welcome back to the NCAA Women's Basketball Selection Special. Now let's look at the bottom half here, and it starts with a 6-11 matchup here. Penn State takes on Dayton. Maggie Lucas, Big Ten record for 3.4 goals in the season. <laughs> The Penn State Lady Lions received a sixth seed in the NCAA tournament and will face off against Dayton on Saturday as they host the first and second round bracket at the Bryce Jordan Center. DePaul and Navy will also travel to Happy Valley to play after the Lady Lion Dayton game. Log on to gopsusports.com slash tickets to reserve your all-season pass now for the games on Saturday and Monday. We're, we're thrilled to be in the tournament this year. We're thrilled to be a sixth seed. We're thrilled to be hosting. It's, it's been a long time for this program, a few years, and we're excited to be back in, in the best tournament in women's basketball. Shed your winter clothes now for some hot Penn State gear at the GoPSUSports.com store. T-shirts and shorts are available now on the official Nittany Lion merch store. The Penn State Nittany Lion wrestling team will send eight wrestlers to the 2011 NCAA Wrestling Championships in Philadelphia, looking to make a run at the school's first national title since 1953. Check out the expanded preview of the Nittany Lions National Championship trip on the GoPSUSports.com wrestling page. Penn State women's lacrosse defeated Delaware 11-3 this past weekend. Jackie Eastman had four points with two goals and two assists. Senior attacker Mary Dean had three points with two goals and one assist. Penn State will host Hofstra Wednesday at 7 p.m. and admission is free. Penn State men's lacrosse defeated number 19 Rutgers 11-7 this past weekend. Sophia Perry caught up with Coach Tambroni after the win. Now you have your first conference game versus, versus UMass next week. What do you guys need to do to get, the, get your first conference win of the season? You know, I think the first thing we got to do is give our guys some rest. They, they've been going pretty hard over spring break, so just take a day off and then, uh, and then start focusing on, on UMass, who's a very good team, you know, certainly one of the favorites in our league. And, you know, we, we made a lot of mistakes today that we're going to have to clean up that I'm, that I'm sure UMass will, will look to expose and, uh, you know, try to get healthy. We had a couple guys banged up that didn't play today, so hopefully we'll do a better job of just cleaning up some things, building on this momentum. The Penn State men's indoor track team finished 11th place in the NCAA championships this past weekend. They had third place finishes from senior Ryan Foster and freshman Brady Garrett. They also had a fifth place team finish in the 4x400 meter relay. Penn State women's track also finished sixth in the 4x400 meter relay. Congrats to both Penn State indoor track squads for a successful 2011 season. 
Men's volleyball traveled to California this past weekend, defeating UC Santa Barbara and losing to both UCLA and Long Beach State. Up next for the Nittany Lions, they will face Ball State and IPFW Friday and Saturday at Rec Hall at 7 p.m. Penn State men's gymnastics traveled to Puerto Rico and defeated the Puerto Rico national team. Up next, they will travel to Oklahoma on Saturday to face number two Oklahoma and number four Illinois. Penn State women's gymnastics defeated West Virginia over the weekend. They scored a season high in multiple events, and up next is the Big Ten Championships this Saturday in Minnesota. Men's tennis swept a doubleheader this past weekend against Navy and Villanova. Up next, they will host a doubleheader Sunday against Youngstown State at 10 a.m. and Dayton at 3 p.m. Penn State baseball ripped off five out of six wins this past week in Norfolk. And Penn State softball took three out of four in the Buckhead Classic. And fans, as you know, stay connected with the Penn State Nittany Lions Facebook page. Plus, find out which coaches and staff are tweeting by checking out the GoPSUSports.com Twitter toolbar. And for all you people, Penn State Wisconsin was trending globally on Saturday and Taylor Battle was trending on Sunday. That's all for this week's edition of For the Glory. Tune in next week as we recap all of the Penn State teams in action. I'm Gia Motel and this is For the Glory.